Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Today we have a fun one. We're going to make some low poly water. Uh, let's have a look. All right, so this is the low poly water we'll be making today. The idea is to use Maya's texture deformer along with the ocean shader to make realistic waves first that tells a story. And then we'll be converting that into the low poly form. Now let's uh, jump in and check it out. All right, let's start. Go up to your poly modeling shelf we're going to add a plane into the scene. Open up your channel box. And with this plane, what I want to do is increase the scale of the X and the Z. There we go. And now we need to give this some more subdivision. So click on your polyplane one input. And then what we want to do is maybe make it 200 by 200. All right, so first um, I'm going to delete the history and freeze transformations. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm pressing Control D, and I'm just moving this off to the side. I'm going to make a demo of this. You don't have to follow this next part, but you can if you want. Um, what we're going to do is give this a deformer. So go up to the Deform tab. Down here, we have something called the Texture Deformer. Click on that, and then let's open up our Attribute Editor. And over here, we have this slider beside Texture. If I increase this, you can see that it starts lifting up. It might be hard to see. If I decrease it, this value changes and you can see that it brings it back down. And that means we can use a texture to drive the height of this. So click on this checkerboard box. And what I want to do is make a demo with the noise texture. And the noise texture is actually pretty great. You can actually make um, a water form from this or like some terrain or ground texture by changing some of these values and playing around with it, right? Just going to do that. Um, and it's using this noise texture to change the height. Um, over here on the left, you also have something called the texture deformer handle, right? It's over here. Maya places it in the middle, but this one is for this. And you can move, rotate, and scale to change this texture. However, um, you can only change the move and the um, scale um, if you change the point space to world. There we go. And now we can scale this. We can rotate it and we can move it as well, which is awesome. So yeah, play around with the noise texture. Um, also to get back to the noise texture, you'll want to select your mesh, just mouse wheel down here. You have your texture deformer here and you have your noise texture right here. Uh, we don't need this though, so let's just uh, delete it. What we're gonna do is make our water um, and we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna select this, we're gonna go to deform tab, the deform tab and choose texture. And then over here, um, beside that um, checkerboard box, or selecting the checkerboard box, we're going to choose the um, ocean shader. All right, so now something has happened. It's kind of unclear. Let's give our wave some height. I'm going to make this about 10. And there you go. You can see that um, we're starting to see something happening. Let's increase our wave length a little bit. You will essentially want to play around with these to get the look you want. And what I like about the ocean shader is it feels a little more realistic, right? You get a, a shape or a form that looks like um, real waves. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. Maybe play with the frequency. I can increase the height a bit more, maybe make this like 12. And I can add a little more of a peak to the wave. So maybe I'll make this like four. You can see it sharpens those waves. That's a little bit intense for me, so I'm just going to make it maybe like 1.5. There you go. So play around with that until you get the look you want. Um, I think this looks pretty good already. Let me play with the turbulence a little bit. Maybe I'll do like 1.2. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, what else? I'll leave it alone. Oh, also, you can animate this if you want. Um, the animation really isn't meant to be taken in game. But if you want to animate for a render inside of Maya, what you would do is go into the time box and you'd put equals frame divided by something like 30 or 60 is probably good. I'm going to do 30. And then we can switch to the classic workspace so that we have our range slider and timeline. And I can hit play. And what's awesome about this is um, you can see it's starting to animate, right? So it's looking a little bit strange, but it's just the animation speed and the frames. Um, let's go back to the properties for a second. So what we're doing is we're using this um, 
ocean shader to really tell the story of the waves. And that's why I like using this to create the water. All right, now let's make our low poly water though. Let's select our mesh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that history and I want to triangulate it. So I'm gonna go to mesh, triangulate. Down here we have our triangles. Let's harden those edges. And now let's reduce that topology. So we'll go to mesh, reduce. We'll give it a second. And there you go. And now we just need to play with the slider or enter percentages that work for our project. So I'm gonna make it 90% for now. And in a couple seconds, it'll reduce it. And because there's so much topology there, it lags a little when I drag the slider. So what I'll do is I'll delete that history again. And then I'm gonna to go to mesh and reduce again. And now I'm gonna play with this percentage slider, bring this up until I get essentially like a low poly uh, look. So it's starting to be a little bit low poly, I think a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty good right there, right? Um, get yours how you want it, right? I'm gonna select this, let's give it a color. So I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose assign new material. Actually, let's first delete the history again. There we go. And then I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, assign new material, and I'm gonna choose a blend. And over here, I just wanna give it like an ocean color, something blue. There we go, I think that looks all right. And now let's um, extrude this. So in some projects, you may want to give this a, a little more of a 3D form. So I'm gonna select it, let's extrude it, hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose extrude, and you can see that my move tool is pointing this direction. I'm gonna press W to go back into world space. Just drag this down. And then down here, you can see it's a bit uneven. So what I'm gonna do is just go into my scale tool and drag the slider down. And now it's flattened those out. We have a lot of topology at the bottom. We don't really need that. So whenever possible, if you don't use it, just delete it. Or if you don't see it. And then, um, what I wanna do is reverse these normals. So right now you can see that it's reverse. So let's go into object mode, select it. And what I wanna do is, um, sorry, to go into object mode, I'm holding down the right mouse button to go into Maya's marking menu. And then what I'm going to do is go to mesh display, reverse. There we go, looks better. Um, I'm gonna turn on wireframe unshaded. This still needs a little more cleanup. So um, again, we have extra vertices here that we don't really need. So I'm gonna select it go into vertex mode. So I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose vertex, I'm gonna box select these vertices. I'm going to merge them. So I'm gonna hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose merge vertices, merge to center. And then what I can do is uh, snap this to here. So I'm gonna hold down V and snap it to here. And we'll merge that in a second, but let's do all these ones as well. Grabbing these ones, again, gonna to merge to center, hold down shift, the right mouse button, merge vertices, merge to center, and then holding down V to snap to here. Grabbing these ones as well. Make sure I don't grab the side ones, right? Um, merge to center, snap to here, and then one more. And there we go, snap to there. And if I box like these four vertices at the bottom, you can see that there's eight there, right? We need to merge these vertices on top of each other. So if I grab this, you can see there's two. I'm gonna hold down shift and the right mouse button, and I can either merge to center again or merge vertices, right? And then I can box select this one, press G to repeat, G to repeat. You can see it's reducing it and G to repeat. And that's a bit of cleanup. Yeah, so now let's take a look at it. And we have a nice, um, looking, let me turn off wireframe unshaded. We have a nice looking water that we can use in our either game, you know, or um, one of those um, small scenes, those dioramas. Right? Cool. I think that looks pretty good. And it's representative. It has this um, impression of real waves. All right, that wraps up another one. Uh, hopefully you're able to learn something new and you can use the process today to make some great looking low poly water in your next project. That's it for now though. We'll see you in the next one. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.